Hello and welcome to the April edition of Pork Talk. You can't see me today due to the current requirement to work from home in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak. Nonetheless, I'm still going to talk you through market movements over the past month and what we might expect going forward. Clearly there is some uncertainty around this as developments around the outbreak are changing rapidly. The SPP remained pretty stable again in March at around 163 pence per kilogram. As discussed last time, shipments to China have been disrupted by their battle with COVID-19. Despite this, as African swine fever has left China so short of pork, processors have been relatively optimistic that strong import demand will return, and this has helped maintain support to prices. We have also recently heard reports that trade is starting to move again, which is good news. However, the situation in some parts of Europe is increasingly challenging and some countries are now experiencing downward price pressure. The latest reports from Germany indicate that producers are understandably keen to deliver pigs, concerned that staff shortages may lead to a drop in production capacity. However, processors are cautious in the face of the spike in supply, due to the uncertainty. While short-term demand may be firm, There is a limit to how much private households can stockpile, and demand afterwards is more uncertain. With this in mind, other countries may also experience price pressure in the coming weeks. Of course, maintaining food supply chains will be a priority, but risks around labour supply and logistics both here and in our EU trading partners remain. With the Easter break approaching as well, there has been encouragement not to let pigs build up on farm, in an attempt to mitigate the impact of any future difficulties that might appear. Ultimately, how these logistical challenges interlink with changing demand patterns will be influential for pig prices in the coming weeks and months. As a significant net importer of pig meat, developments in Europe will be particularly important for the British pig industry. Please keep an eye out for the latest updates on the AHDB website and subscribe to Pork Weekly for the latest market intelligence reports in your inbox every Friday.